morning chaps, welcome along to a lovely, warm Wednesday morning. So, before I start to move all of those secondhand casks on top of the mezzanine behind you, it is here. What I've done is change this light fitting. So I had to come all the way over here to turn the main lights off as you've probably seen on other, other vlogs to get out the door. So now I've run a cable all the way to the other side so we can actually turn the lights off when we leave. I wanted to do that before it was hard to work up there. So now what I need to do is get to the other side of this whole shebang, right through there, clean that up. We've got the big six by six box section down there, five mil steel, really, really heavy, uh, laid on the floor. That needs to be moved. Now I can't move it on my own, it's too weighty, too much gravity into her. So what I'm gonna do is take the uh, angle grinder to it and I'm gonna chop it up into, I think it's 1100 uh, millimeter lengths, which are the height of the pedestal tables that I made for the pub a couple of months back. And uh, then we're gonna have steel for another three tables should we need to uh, fit them anywhere or maybe another pub. Who knows? So that's the next job, and then I'm gonna tidy up everything underneath that situation over there, and uh, then we'll start moving casks and tidy up. I don't know if you saw on yesterday's vlog before I went out, the workshop is a real mess. Check it. Dude. I'm ready to start throwing some casks up. I've already got that lot up there, but uh, I'm knackered from pulling them, carrying them across. So I'm gonna put the pallet truck underneath and uh, do it that way. But I've gotta get down that step. So, makes perfect sense. I'm gonna move that to set the camera up for it, because chances are, it's going to collapse. I think I was a lucky fella then, just a bit. So you'll see what I'm gonna do. Basically, drag the pallet down to here and stand on top of the stand on top of the mezzanine and pull them off. Not like that.
Oh my God. So it's five o'clock. My feet are killing me. I missed a lot of footage, if I'm honest, folks, but uh, don't hang me for it. I dry hopped the tanks. I dumped some trub because I watched a video on, hey guys, Jasper here at Brory Life. How you doing? Brilliant. Showed me uh, um, how they dump the trub or blow their tanks off or something like that. And then somebody asked me on one of the messages in the comments about it. So I thought I'd give it a whirl. Um, but I'm not harvesting yeast at the moment, which is what I'd do that for. And I don't have a sight glass and uh, I'm just dumping it out of the butterfly valve. Whoa, you should have seen it, it just flew out. Should have got it on camera really. I'll, I will next time, I promise. So you'll notice behind some boards, these are actually some doors which I had stored over yonder. I'll show you where they were in a second. But we've also got all of the Boggart hole casks up there, even the uh, Kilderkins, all of it is stacked up, look, way up high, out of the way. So, uh, yeah, over 120 casks I've run up those stairs and handballed over the edge rail. My dogs, as Froggy would say, are barking. And then I've started to move everything over here. Um, to create some space in this corner and while I was doing that guess what appeared oh yeah so this is the last vacant gesture out of a cask that Stuart's just changed so he's brought it in for me so this has been on a day or so maybe two it is the start of the week it's probably been on since Sunday and whilst it's a fantastic vacant gesture you can tell because it's at the bottom of the cask. It is slightly, slightly oxidised. Uh, but that's the nature of the beast with cask ales. We should really have aspirators on the casks. Again, that's another story. So let me pop you on the tripod and I'll give you a, uh, a run through of exactly what my plans are over here. So you don't often get to see this section of the brewery because well, generally, it's where all the crap and rubbish is stored. And there's the shutter doors, that's the main entrance where I come in. And usually, this is just filled... Well, all the casks were here for a start the other day. So you wouldn't have been able to see much then anyway. But it's all been painted and whatnot. Uh, before we put anything here, you can see with the uh, damp proof paint at the bottom, and we were initially going to put the cold room over here, but obviously our plans have changed since then. So in this section now, I'm going to pop the wood rack, the timber rack, to get rid of all that wood in that corner. I might just have time to build it before Gemma gets here, I'm not sure. Yeah, all this timber here, look. So I'm going to just get the screwdriver out and blitz it. I've got about 25-30 minutes to get something up and we can start filtering all this wood into it with any luck. It's not going to be as complex as the last rack. It's going to be dead simple. And as if by magic, in the time I've drank one pint, I must say, look how crystal clear that is. We've put up the freaking timber rack. <laughs> wow, I didn't think I'd get it done and Gemma's not here yet, so she's either gone shopping She's picking me up some work trousers that I order from George Asda, yes. I like the elasticated ones to get my fat thighs in. And huge uh, buttocks. Um, yes, so, I was gonna put all of the plywood on the toilet door side and everything else in the back. But looking at it now, I know the floor's not it doesn't run all the way to the side but I think it would make more sense to put the ply this side simply because I can lean it against the wall let that take the weight there's still some crap up the top that I've got to remove that was a gas heater tubular gas heater that we had up here when moved in no gas pipe to it and it would have been waste of gas to put it on frankly I can hear something 
Chingo Chango. I knew it. They were on the way. How are you doing, Abigail? Did Nanny dump you today? Oh, she's rubbish, isn't she? So all I'm left to do is chuck a load of the uh, timber into the timber rack. That will clear the space up behind you. And then it's uh, probably another day of just sorting stuff out tomorrow. And uh, I think it'll be nice and tidy and we'll be able to start on another project. Maybe the security gate for the side of the building. I'd really like to get that started because uh, I want to put together the promo video for Evolution Tools, of course. But uh, I hope the video makes sense. I hope you kept with me today. Uh, but what we're going to do here is uh, pick up as normal tomorrow. So we'll see you for that.